Hey everybody, Mark with the comics, and I'm back. That's right, I'm back for my top picks for a new comic book day. It's been about a two year hiatus. If you're interested in hearing what my top picks of the week are, stay tuned for that intro. Welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content, you get in a timely fashion. This is going to be short and sweet. I used to make these videos pretty regularly for New Comic Book Day, but they were pretty lengthy. And I wanted to really, you know, make it a lot more shorter, just sweet and to the point. My new picks of the week for New Comic Book Day. I'm going to make this regularly going forward. So let's just get right into it. First book of the week, we're going to start off with, this is going to be from Dark Horse Comics. This is We Have Demons, issue number one, written by Scott Snyder, illustrated by Greg Capullo. A woman suffers a devastating loss of a loved one that sets her on a path to becoming a major player in the climactic war of good versus evil. Some pretty cool covers there. If I'd say I'd pick one, it's going to be the cover C, which is going to be that red foil variant. All right, moving on to the next book is going to be from IDW. This is Godzilla vs. Power Rangers, issue number one. It's going to be a five-issue limited series that pits the Power Rangers against Godzilla. Who doesn't love Godzilla? I've been reading Power Rangers pretty regularly, probably for the last several months, and I've been enjoying it. So this should be a, a really fun five-issue miniseries. And uh, you don't often see... Um, Two publishers, you know, collabing together. So it's going to be publishers, IDW, and Boom. So check that out. I know I will. All right. So for number three this week, we're going to be going to Marvel. And there's going to be just one book this week from Marvel. And we'll be checking out. It's going to be, I believe, this character's first solo series. And it's going to be Wolverine Patch, issue number one. It's going to be also a five-issue miniseries written by Larry Hama. There is going to be, I believe this takes place in Madripoor, and um, there's going to be a, a few uh, first appearances in, uh, in this issue, and maybe a team appearance, and uh, from what I've read in the solicitation, it doesn't turn out well for a patch in this first issue. <laughs> so uh, check that out if that's something that you're interested in. And um, for my number four pick this week, it's Image. One title I'm going to be looking at this week is going to be Ghost Cage, issue number one, written by Nick Dragota. If you're not familiar with him, he's uh, an artist pretty well known for the title East of West. This is going to be a little bit on the sci-fi, which is up my alley. So it's after a super scientist mega power plant is taken over by terrorists, he sends in his ultimate creation to destroy the company's monstru monstrous secrets. So that should be pretty interesting. And I do believe Midtown Comics has a pretty cool uh, variant uh, up as well, if you're interested in that. And my last pick, my top pick of the week, coming from DC Black Label, it's going to be Rogues, issue number one. This is going to be written by Joshua Williamson. And um, I believe Leo Max is going to be the uh, either the artist or the illustrator. I'm not really sure if the cover or the interiors. But it's going to be a four-issue miniseries described as a neo-noir heist that reimagines the Flash's rogues gallery. There's some pretty cool covers, but if it was up to me, I'm going to pick up that 1 in 25, which is a really cool Action Comics number one cover swipe. I think it's going to be pretty hot. These uh, cover swipes usually do pretty well in the secondary. So look out for that if that's something you're interested in. That's going to be my top pick of the week. Can't wait to read that. And that's it. So like I said, short and sweet to the point. I plan on these videos being a little bit shorter as well, but this is my first video back in two years. So I wanted to have a little fun with this. So uh, if you like that, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, Box Spectre Comics, out.